baby? Who wants to play all day? Who's the little angel? Oh, the tweety baby. Ah, 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 you're biting me. Ah. My hair is sticking up. Oh, the baby. I got to check him for ticks. He was running around out there. And I haven't given him any advantage yet. But I left his hair really long. It should make it hard for ticks. I had a problem with an Aki product and I called Anchor. I have brain damage. I, I can't think straight and I, I feel, I felt better for five minutes or an hour. And I was distracted talking to this guy for an hour from Ring. They decided to record the call. Sometimes I'll be talking to a company like Verizon or Ring and then I'll make a connection with a supervisor or someone and they'll be like, wow, that was a good idea. That was a good idea. That was a good idea. We actually implemented that. That's another good idea. Can I record the call now? And then we, I'm like, is Jeff Bezos going to hear this? Because you need to donate a billion dollars to save the planet. It'll be good advertising for you and it's tax deductible. You'll never have to pay taxes again. That's why Trump doesn't pay taxes. He lost so much money. He never has to pay taxes. And you could donate a billion dollars if you're Jeff Bezos and never pay taxes again and save humanity. And then you could take credit for saving humanity. If you're Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos and you build this giant mirror, that'll be really good for your ego that you saved humanity. Who oh, the baby angel? Who oh, the sweet baby full of joy? Uh, uh. Yeah, he doesn't like it when I play with his ears. He, he has this vicious streak because I used to get really mad when I was housebreaking him. That Shih Tzu's like to pee everywhere. But I never hit him. I'd splash him with water and yell at him. and uh, Or pick him up. You gotta be very careful when you pick up a little dog. When you pick up your dog, be very careful with his spine. Pick him up straight. Straight up. Don't yank him. You could hurt his spine. If you watch the boys, there's a support group for people that had their spine broken when a superhero was rescuing them from a burning building. They didn't slow down to pick them up. Oh, the sweet baby, yeah. Be very careful when you pick up your dog not to damage his spine. If he's, if he's standing on all four and you pick him up by his shoulders or his middle and you yank him, now you've just slipped his discs pushed a vertebrae out of place. It's very easy to do. Think about how easy it would be for a giant picking you up quickly or too, too hard, how easy it would be for him to hurt you. That if Superman picked you up at 100 miles an hour, that it would break your spine. Be really careful when you pick up your dog. Pick him up from underneath the shoulders, like your thumbs should meet, like on either side of his spine, supporting all around evenly. In the front, don't pick him up by his armpits. That's incredibly painful pressure point. But you do want to pick him straight up. So his spine is stretching, but not being deformed in any way. It's okay to pick him straight up and put him straight down. Be very careful. And then, then when you have him, I like to put this arm under his chest, spread out, the hand spread out as far as I can, and then put the rest of his spine, the rest of his body along your forearm with one leg over each side and then put this arm underneath so he's supporting himself and he feels comfortable. Now he's comfortably seated, half his weight is on this arm and he's supporting with his arms the way it was designed to support his weight. And then I've got this arm and my hand, on the hand is under his rib cage, supporting his rib cage and then his spine is in a straight line relatively along my forearm. So now his spine is supported from front to back, top to bottom. I'm not supporting part of his spine, which would be damaging it. That if you're letting him dangle and he's horizontal and half his body's dangling and the, that point in his spine is like a, it's not designed for that. He's not a bird. He's not designed to fly and have the wings be supporting his whole body weight that his spine is designed to have four points of contact with the ground to spread out his weight. And if you yet pick him up or put him down quickly and it's only half his body, that's why dogs have back problems. Some of it's genetic, 
but keep your be careful with your dog's spine. Pretend you're picking up like a, a wooden model ship that took you two years to build. It's strong, but it's fragile. He's strong and it's hard to break him, but he's very fragile. The soft tissues, you could damage them very easily. Don't give your dog back problems when you pick him up and drop him wrong. Um, that's why when I pick him up, it's straight up. Not diagonally, not halfway, not horizontal, yanked up. This is how he plays, okay? Just give him your pinky, pinch his cheeks. He's not biting you because he's mad. He's biting because he wants to play. And this is how puppies play with little bites. It's practice for hunting and killing. That's why you got to go for the neck. I win. I win. He likes to play. If you inherit this dog, pinch his cheeks. Little shaking baby syndrome. Shaking baby. Oh, I got to brush your teeth. Look at baby. Ah, rah, rah. Let me see your teeth. If you brush his teeth when he's a puppy, he'll get used to it. Well, do you have a dental problem? Let me see. Arah. Arah. He likes it when I grab the roof of his mouth. With the thumb. If the nail's blocking the teeth, this is this is like he likes this playing. There's something black back there. Oh man, that one tooth looks white and the other one looks black. Is it just dirty? Is there some food stuck there? Does he have a cavity? He's too young to have a black tooth like that. That reminds me of Joel Friedlander had broken, broken teeth. Who the baby Cooper baby bitey? Can I see your tooth? He's only two years old. He should have all nice white teeth. Who the good baby? Bye, mm, Noji. I'm gonna wash my hair. Who the baby? Oh, oh, Raquel Welch died. I wanted to tell you Raquel Welch died. And I'm so mad, this guy, why did Curtis have these guys knock on my door to replace my chimney cap? If they're not even allowed to tell me how much it costs and they don't work for me, that fucking scumbag Curtis. See, he picks up on the anger. He felt my flash of anger just now because I thought of Curtis. I feel so bad because my drugs are wearing off. Something wore off. I don't even know what it is. I have to constantly take all these drugs and distract myself somehow. Who's your baby? I'm suffering so bad and as soon as the drugs wear off, it gets worse. It hasn't been as bad. And I'm checking him for ticks now. Every time you let him out, if he has no Advanix, check around his balls and his back legs and his tail before they can attach themselves, actually. I like to leave the bottom half of his body extremely hairy because that's a protection against insects. A lot of bugs have adapted for fur, so hair really messes him up, especially this fine Shih Tzu hair. Really tangles up the bugs. It's a good defense. Uh, every time I give him a close haircut, he gets covered in mosquito bites. And I found a tick on his neck last time I gave him a haircut, but the property wasn't cleared yet. And I would have carpeting, but they fired the moving man before he finished. And he didn't finish because he didn't know how to work his truck in the winter. He didn't know how to drive a diesel truck in the winter. What a moron. I can't believe Curtis is torturing me. It looks like I'm going to be mailing letters to my dad's neighbors. And one day when I wake up this week, because he never dropped the charges, and now to go to the city and back, it's a death sentence, the way that cops want to do it. I would die. I would die. And I'd never survive multiple trips back and forth anyway. And I would get exposed to so many diseases. I'd get an infection, killed by a CO or a prisoner, COVID, a relapse of RSD was my psychiatrist was worried about that. And that would be a death sentence that I wouldn't be able to tolerate that level of pain at this point not being able to take care of myself or the dog. There's no reason to stay alive if I had a, a relapse of RSD. So that would be the end of my life. There's no guarantee it would ever go away again. And then I would never walk again. I wouldn't be able to take care of the dog. There would be no reason to stay alive at that point.
It would just be me in bed waiting to die. When you become bedridden, you have 90 days to live. Like 45% of the time you die within 90 days and then the other 45% within two years. So then after that, you have about 10% of people still alive, like in seven. Can I see your teeth? Why is one tooth black? Do you need to go to the doggy dentist? Doggy dentist, let me see that. Is it just something stuck? Hold the baby. Oh, the baby. If I got him a chewy stick, but on one side it's nice and white and on the other side it's uh, black there. Is you got food stuck there? Maybe he has food stuck there. I'll check it later. When I have a chewy stick to hold his mouth open. So I spoke to the ring doorbell guy for a long time. I'll make some links. They have some new products. But Raquel Welch died. I know. There are some signs it's on Thwaites Glacier. I have some videos I need to share now. But all my medications have worn off and I got to try to eat something. I don't know, maybe my ad. I got to take some stimulants. It's too early to go to sleep. It's only five o'clock. Seven now. What a horrible day yesterday and today have been. This Every day just sucks now. What a horrible death my wife and my father have given me. What's going on? Have you got a cavity or something? Oh, the baby. Baby babies. Oh, the baby babies. Baby babies. Oh, the baby babies. Oh, the baby. Who's a sweetie, stinky face. Yeah, you like that, scratchies? He likes face scratchies. Who's the baby, sweetie? Ooh. Baby Cooper, baby. Baby sweetie. Who's your baby Cooper? Oh, Magda would love this dog. How could she do that? She was crying. She was my soulmate. Verizon wanted to record the call when I told them why I was leaving Sprint for them after 13 years. Mm, poor dog, baby. Ooh, I really I don't want to be alive anymore, but I have to take care of this dog. I haven't been able to find anyone to give him to. We've never been apart. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have gotten this dog. I should have gotten euthanasia. Oh, the baby, sweetheart. Baby. Baby. I should get a chewy stick in there. Is it dirt in your tooth? Hmm? Oh, the baby. Hmm. Ah, Hmm. Oh, the baby. I know what the baby should do.
he should be chewing on sticks more often to prevent dental problems that actually keeps the dog's teeth clean.